Well, I'm just back from the vote in the Assembly. Uh, it's very clearly a vote of discrimination. It's making discrimination law in this case. It's discriminating against ex-prisoners um, who will not be able to become special advisors. And one of the important things to say, as Martin McGuinness said it today, was that the, you know, the other parties, including the SDLP, knew this 14 years ago. When Martin was uh, uh, um, an education minister, he had an ex-prisoner as his uh, special advisor. When Barbara de Bruyne was the Minister of Health, she had uh, an ex-prisoner as, uh, as an advisor, both of them who had been uh, sentenced to life imprisonment. So this is not a new issue. This is something which they knew about, didn't do anything about, and now have reacted. The SDLP had the ability, and they actually called this bad law. They said it was wrong. They had the ability to stop it, but instead they facilitated it. And in so doing, gave up the leadership uh, that, they, that they had. They had an ability to use that leadership. And, uh, you know, Alistair MacDonald gave that up and, in fact, handed over to another Alistair, basically, uh, which was uh, Jim Alistair. And uh, it really is the tail wagging the dog. Would you see this, then, as a rerun of the criminalization of Republicanism and Republicans? Well, I think the difficulty on it is that it is a law and it's bad law, and it will not do anybody any good. What it will do is, instead of bringing victims uh, together and, and moving the whole issue of victims and the legacy issues uh, forward, what this will do is it, it very clearly has already uh, split victims uh, and survivors. We already had uh, them up in the assembly today, and some of the other victims and survivors who did not agree with this law, uh, who are saying, well, this is only taken, this is because it's a Republican, it's discrimination against Republicans. What about all the, uh, the, the state forces who, in fact, didn't even go through jail and were involved in all sorts of, uh, of, of hundreds of, of deaths? And then when you bring collusion into that, that would, that would go up about over a thousand deaths. Would you say then this is a hierarchy of victims? Um, Alistair MacDonald, for example, talked about Paul Calvin being away down the pecking order. Well, it's very clearly, and it came out of his own mouth. You know, he, the, it's, it's clear that they believe in the hierarchy of victims. They have a, a way of... Uh, of dealing with it, and uh, Republicans are, uh, as he pointed out, way down the packing order. And where would we go from here now? Can we um, do anything to appeal this law? Well, as it sits, we, what we'll do is we will investigate this, we'll take legal advice and see if there's a way of doing it. One, the one thing that we're very, very clear about that it is, uh, even in terms of the retrospection, you know, normally when law is brought in, they're not allowed to have, uh, have a retrospective effect. This law also has a retrospective effect, which means it's going to affect uh, Paul Kavanagh, who is a current uh, a special advisor and ex-prisoner. So what we need to do is take legal advice and see where we can go, where we can go with it. But uh, it has done no one any good. This has been a very divisive uh, debate. It's a very divisive uh, move. The SDLP um, sat in their seats when they could have prevented it. And, you know, they have to and have, have given their reasons for doing it, none of them which are at all logical. Uh, never mind anything else. This is this is an anti-Republican move, and the SDLP were involved in it.